Thank you. 
Shut up.
Yes. Bring it up. I'm bearing a burden here. If you left the church out of a country, that country is going down. If you look back on many of the countries that have lived on God, they always have some terrible disaster. If you go back and look on China and different other countries, disaster take them. If a sickness is happening to a country and the people say they are really serving God, I believe that that Prime Minister or that leaders of government should involve God in the whole city. Because if even as a leader, if you really love God, you would say like all you call a meeting where you have the Prime Minister would come and he would he would say that by certain time the country will lock down and he would name everything that would go funeral, wedding, parties and so I believe that you should call something online same way a national day 
of prayer. And not only to read something out of a paper, but genuinely as a prime minister and government should cry out to God for help. Because the Bible cannot run. The Bible said that there was a place called Nineveh. God was about to destroy Nineveh. And God, the people, Jonah, didn't even want to go. And when Jonah reached, and he said, in three days, Nineveh shall be destroyed. Can I talk to you? Hallelujah. Lift your hand and give God a praise. Hallelujah. And because the king and everybody called a national day of fasting and prayer, where they bow down and they cried to God, many where the wicked city was saved. Lord, you're not talking to me. Could you lift your hand everywhere and Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Give God some praise if you can. Could you lift your hand again and give God some praise? Anytime God is about to destroy a place. Because although the pandemic is man-made, I believe that Almighty God can control it. Oh, you're not talking to me. You're not hearing me. If He is God who controls the atmosphere and control mankind, control you and I life, He must can destroy the corona. Hello, somebody. But you see, as the people of this land, government, and everyone, we have forgotten God. And I'm not leaving the church out of it. We have forgotten God. You're not hearing me. You know, I said something and I'm not really going very hard. And I want the musician to help me when you can. That. Hmm. A doctor will never let down a doctor. Certain police will never let down another police. But Christian will let down Christian. Oh Lord God, somebody next to you. You're not, you're not talking to me now. We are full of hatred and backbiting and that's why Part of the system, the church has get so much attack. Because we are real people. But we are so divided. Leave your hand and give God a praise. I happen to be somewhere where. Then my wife went to the, the market downtown. Mm -hmm. I, I, and while we were there, I said to her, I will go and buy the stuff then, since you're tired. I will be the man. Mm -hmm. And I'll take the market back and I'll, I'll buy the stuff. Mm -hmm. And I went to buy at those times. You know, I'll get all different kinds of seed and all kinds of, because I just went into this diet. And when I came out and looked the, in the van, I didn't see her. And I was looking and saying, I wonder where she is. And while I looked over, I saw her. And she said, Pastor, Pastor, wait, wait for me. And then I went over to see her. And I recognized that there was a church that she was listening to. So I went there and was looking. And I don't know who don't know me. Oh, can I talk to you? I said, I don't know who don't know me. Hallelujah. The man that always, uh, the old man that came on here and going twice. 
the man before he died, the man that was on CBM, on radio, everybody knew me. And as I look in the church with joyful and respect, I just looking attentively. Didn't look like I, I ate nobody or anything. Somebody cry out the spies here. Oh, you don't hear me? Hello? The spies here. And I said, why do you know where you wait, 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 wait. Come, let me walk, walk, walk with this snails. Come here, no way, they are spy from people, church, for. We are too divided. I say it to say this. We are too divided. And divided we stand. Uh, united we stand, sorry. Divided we fall. I mean, the church is going to be divided. Then the enemy is going to come in and bite. Lord, you know what you hear me? Could I lift your hand over here and give God a praise? Somebody praise him, let me hear you. Can I hear you call that name? Call him a little loud. And not until the church recognize that the church is one foundation. And go ahead and worship God in one spirit. You listen to me as long as you don't know no candle me and your friend. As now you don't broke no coconut. I don't worship the other gods. And Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. The church of the living God need to come back together. Need to come back and fight this battle. Oh, you know what me talk? Can I talk to you? And not until we fight. Because we wrestle not against uh, flesh and blood, uh, but against principality, uh, against powers, uh, against rulers of darkness uh, of this world. Uh, we are not two, we are one. Could you look on somebody and say we are one? I want to tell you Facebook, uh, as long as you are a child of God, uh, and you're worshiping God. As long as you can say God is a spirit. And they that worship him. Must worship him. In spirit and in truth. We are together to tear down principality. If you're walking over here. You can't come near me. But if you're not a true child of God. Clean and pure in God. We are together marching to Zion to pull the being in the kingdom. You see, a large man will never leave out another large man. Good God Almighty, can I talk to you, somebody? But yet, still, the church of the living God, we leave out our brothers and sisters. Do you hear what I say? As long as you see a large man and they can shake on, and when they shake on, they recognize. That they are together, that they are sea of large people. They will fight for each other, and they will provide for each other. But yet, to the church of the living God, I'm being backslidden and fight against one another. Oh, God Almighty, somebody don't want me to preach. Can I preach somebody? Lift your hand and give God a praise. Praise him, let me hear you. Praise him, let me hear you. Somebody rock him and say, Jesus. Clap your hands and say, Jesus. Stamp your feet and say, Jesus. Clap your hands and say, Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's the God we praise. That's the God we lift up. And we are here. Stand for one name the day of Jesus Christ. The church needs to set right for us. Anytime the church is set right, when we don't do it, don't brother. Hello? Hello? Can I talk to you? When the church is set right, then as long as the church is set right, then everything will be alright in the world. 
we will conquer the demon in the world. We'll conquer the freemiots and the lodge and the powers of hell. Can you lift your hand? I want you to lift your hand with me. You know, I was seeking God and God identified four people in this church. And what they think I don't know, I have a friendship with God. And if you try to fight against me, God will fight you. Hallelujah. Oh, you don't want to hear me. Because don't kill what happened. What, what, what is the Bible said? Trouble not the Lord's anointing. God to his prophet, no harm. When you lift your hand and you call up for us. I'm going to say this and I don't want nobody next to me. But as long as you're not walk over here, you're your friend. I mean, I like who you walk up. Because I hope you kill me, mother. Not that somebody makes it me. And when, when, you know, when God is doing things, God doing things. If God is ready to kill you, I know who you that. Lord God, you're not hearing me. Because God allowed the arm um, to kill Saul and move the presence from from him. And God has caused Saul to die. Because Saul disobeyed. And God stripped the kingdom from him. You don't hear me. Leave your hand and give God a praise. Somebody praise him like he prayed. Because look, and that's why the Bible said, if my people. You think you think the Bible is talking about the, 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 the whole Jamaica or the whole America? God is saying, if my people. Who are his people? The child of God, the Christians. If my people are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my fears. Come on up and turn from the wicked ways. Then I, God, I, Jesus Christ, will hear from heaven. And I will heal the land. Oh, you don't want me to talk. Mm-hmm. Oh, you leave your heart there with me right there. Come up. Somebody pray to him, let me hear you. Leave your hand and pray to him, let me hear you. That only if my people. And if the church was really praying the right way, I'm going to say this and I don't want you to vex with me. And I call his name for no harm. But I'm going to say this. If the church was praying the right way, Corona and I live from Jamaica already. Our anti wellness would not put the um, block on the church. Oh, you don't want to talk. You know, if the church was coming together the right way, and praying the right way, and stop criticizing. Because that's why the answer can be a perfect church. But I'm going to say to the unsaved, if they look in the mirror, probably the mirror will tell them that you are a hypocrite. You're not hearing me. So you need to come in the church and, 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 and be more better than the hypocrites. <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. 